Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. So, um, not sure if we'll hit the mob spawner today, and I will show you why. So, I've been messing around with some of the blocks that, um, oh, here's one of the things I did. I changed this around. So, I've got a, a drum there for the, the XP, and then, yeah, that sucks it out and puts it in the drum. I might fill that up pretty quick, though. <laughs> Um, so what I was looking at actually using is these blocks here. They're ed called edge stone and they are made with, um, extra utilities. So if we look at these guys, um, recipe for that is some border stone, some edge stone bricks, and which requires a lot of this stone, which I don't have a lot of. So I have... It automated right now so about 300 I'm probably gonna need more than that I'm gonna need at least probably like 10 stacks of stone but if we go up here I'll show you what I did so I have there's an inventory cable there and it's hooked to the slab furnace and what I have it doing is it's going into so if you saw that bucket of lava over there so I have an uh, and a fluid transposer down here um, putting lava in the lava bucket so you put the bucket in here spits it out the bottom put the lava in it and um, so I got a I got a command sequence to to pull the empty buckets out so I'm essentially making um, smooth stone with lava because you can do about I think it's a hundred blocks um, you can cook up a hundred things with a bucket of lava and since I'm getting lava for free instead of using my charcoal I'm gonna use that um, my water seems to be pretty full too um, and, and so the thing I'm gonna do let's see so yeah so the two things I'm doing is one thing is I'm putting stone in here or cobblestone in here. The other thing I'm doing is pulling the empty bucket out, putting it in the liquid transposer, pulling the empty or the lava bucket out of the transposer, and putting it into here, and then uh, another command putting lava into the liquid transposer. So that's that piece. Um, so the next thing I want to want to do. Oh, as you can see, I have I have uh, armor on, and the reason I have it is uh, all these pieces have fire protection. So if you get fire protection, your ambient temperature goes down. Is um, Watch the ambient temperature down there as it... Or not. Yeah, see it going up? So the armor pieces aren't actually adding um, heat. They're removing it. So I thought that's kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Let's turn, pause these in the sorter. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the blocks I'm going to use. Um, let's go up here. So border stone, I actually want to use this as the border. And then I want to use this as a center block. So these are going to go around the edges with these as pillars and maybe use this as a floor also and then these are going to be the walls in order to do that you need a lot of brick so i'm making a bunch of brick right now oh the other thing i did is i added um some extra storage in here <laughs> i was like hey i'm gonna need a lot of cobblestone and then i realized oh i need a lot of stone um then i realized Oh, 64 stacks is more than enough to make a mob spawner out of. <laughs> like, oh, well, I guess I didn't really need the, uh, um, uh, the, uh, storage upgrades after all. <laughs> That's the word. Use your words. 
Okay, so let's look at some of the quests. So I've got all this except, I think I got everything. So let's see what we got. Let's clean my inventory up. Um, can't put that in there. Oh, let's start with some water. How about that? Let's put some stuff in here. Go ahead and put these guys. Let's put all those blocks in there. Put a lever in there. Don't always have a lever in there, so. Let's put um, some coal up there. Gunpowder. String in here. We got a bunch of extra string. That stack of string was from the spawner. Let's put this bone wheel up. I don't need that on me. Um, let's grab. Well, cranberry, or strawberry. Oh, ugh, that's a hard choice. Uh, we'll go with cranberry. <laughs> First world problems. Um, okay, so let's deal with our. Uh, it's going to get nighttime. Alright, let's grab some water. Maybe it'll be nighttime by the time I finish up my water. Yep, hey, how about that? <laughs> my nice little room here. I think this looks pretty cool, actually. Got a desk with a chair and a bookshelf and some storage. Um, oh, I found wheat, so I can make a cookie jar. I want to do that. Um, back to task at hand. I don't get distracted, honest. <laughs> All right, so let's look at our quest book. All right, let's do glacial precipitator. So those are snow blocks. I guess I can make snow now. <laughs> All right, let's turn that in. Oh, ooh, four cold water bottles. Now I don't know what a high golem is, so um, that kind of scares me. <laughs> All right, so let's do. Uh, let's do ramping up. So a grinder and a reactant dynamo. There's a reactant dynamo. And our grinder that we're going to need. And clean ward. And then power underwhelming. So we need an energy generator. Sweet. Please. Ooh, hardened energy conduits. That's cool. All right, so that's all quests completed in the basic. Ooh, hey, creating life. Sweet. Oh, you know what? Because you need mob essence to do this. So they want you to have a grinder and the ability to make mob essence. I can see why that's locked. And I have tons of eggs. Ten buckets of mob essence. Okay. That's easily doable. I have lots of eggs. Shell storage. Ooh. Ooh that's kind of cool. I'll have to check that out. Another camel pack. Um, I don't know about the lidstone energy cell. Uh, that's not repeatable, is it? <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so once we get the, the mob spawner set up, the mob trap set up, we'll, we can do some of these. Um, let's see, under pressure. Uh, still need to do those two guys and that guy there. Uh, 13. Okay, so everything's unlocked. They're just ready for com waiting for completion. So let's go down here. Precision Sledgehammer, that's on um, this guy here. 
This guy's actually pretty cool because if you put a um, let's bring him out here. Uh, I'm actually gonna put him on top because I think he's up one. Yeah, see, that's the uh, effective area of the grinder. So one below and so level two up, one below. Can I? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so that's that guy. And the other thing I wanted to grab, because I was doing the Java Barrel stuff, and this guy's pretty cool. So this is a uh, barrel hammer. It's for um, the Java Barrels. And if you shift right click, you go through a bunch of different ones, and they show you which. Um, one they do so normal hammer. so if you look here I have two upgrades in it and all three of those are storage upgrades when you have different upgrades they'll be on different sides I think they're like over here is is and they'll, they'll be like little um, let's see so all these are the different upgrades storage upgrades I have three of those in now so they're 3 times 64 plus the base of 64, which is 2 d 6. And then you've got the B space upgrade. These are what they actually show up as, which is kind of cool. These storage upgrades, they'll just have how many storage upgrades you have. But the rest of those, um, the void upgrades are pretty cool. It allows you to keep putting stuff in, and it voids anything in excess of the capacity. Um, creative upgrade, let's see. So that's pneumatic craft uh, hopper upgrade um, allows um, automatic output and they have hopper facades and that'll that'll um, have an output based on which side you put the facade on so you can have it on the top the bottom the left right you know whatever and the same for the redstone upgrade so once you apply the redstone upgrade you apply a redstone facade to the side that you want to output a redstone signal which is pretty cool lots of cool stuff there all right so what I want to do right now is I want to set up some stuff for the tree farm so I have three redstone receivers I want to put um, let's see where is my blocks? I want these blocks. I gotta put the hammer in there. Put the hammer down. Okay, so we're gonna put that block there. I hope it doesn't produce a strong signal. So these three guys are um, all connected up to here. So what I want to do is I want to create a, let's see, what level are we on? We are on 209. by 215. 209 by 215. So we're going to go into here. We are going to go with the tree farm. Um, plant saplings. Oh, all of these are. Hmm. So using a block update. Well, I guess. On high pulse. I might have to play with this. <laughs> hmm. So 
So what I was thinking of doing is if I apply a switch, I can keep it from planting the saplings. I mean, now I can just make a planter. I think that'll be fine. <laughs> I know, this is more fun, don't you think? <laughs> I think that's probably what I'll end up doing, is just making a planter. Okay, let's go to the other aspect. Um, moving leaves. So, let's see here. Input, output. Input is that chest way up there. I'm going to do a trigger. So, all right, let's go up here. So we've got 214, 209 leaves to water. So we're going to make this a redstone controlled. Um, To 14 209 let's stone sides let's look at the uh, west side west side if any west side okay and then on high pulse so what should happen is so We've got 1,065, so let's go in here and let's hit this button. That didn't quite work. <laughs> I thought I had leaves up here. Let's check, make sure. Okay, even though you have fire protection, it helps you inside, but not outside. <laughs> okay, so there's my leaves. Let me sleep real quick. Figure out what's going on. Nighty night. Have fun storming the castle. You see my light perimeter outside? I think it looks cool. I mean, the posts on the fence. All right, so input is the tree farm chest. Um, down is fine. Items, leaves, any amount. Um, inventory. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's to the crucible. No, that's to the barrel. Does it only do one stack at a time? 1065. We're looking for west. Right, that's a redstone receiver. Oh, you know what? Did I do this right? Uh, 209 to 14. Oh, I wonder if I, I did the lower one. No? Did I? 209 to 50, not 55. like 56 57 what do we got here 209 215 oh yeah that's the wrong one that's the one I want <laughs> oh that other one must be down there that other one's for um
that's for the the engines all right I got it now come on 1065 ah what the what in the world West side, 1 through 15. Oh, man, I'm batting a thousand. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go again. Dead 65. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy cow. That was derpy. My apologies. <laughs> I could play Minecraft, honestly. All right, redstone control, redstone receivers. 209, 213 at 56. Redstone sides. We want the west side. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter what side. All right. Input is the tree farm chest. And then items. Nope. Leaves. Oak leaves. I'll put to this chest here. Now what this is going to do is um, dirt. So I have a chest here. It pulls various items out of here and converts them to dirt. So I've got like a little barrel up here. Um, I think you should have seen that in my previous episodes. Let's see here. Um, I think it's under miscellaneous craft. Getting dirty. Dirty laundry. So what are... I don't think I need that one. That one goes to the barrel. Input items. Yeah. So whatever's in there. So this is inventories probably from tree farm chest yeah so I don't need this anymore uh oh I'm overheating danger danger will Robinson oh wow I'm <laughs> really overheating let's get some of these cold waters Dirty laundry. Is that like that's gotta be a different song. That's not dirty laundry. They gotta be saying something else. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Let's put the cold water bottles. Cold, cold. Okay. Let's grab, let's see, let's grab eight stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're going to grab eight stacks, and then um, we're going to go upstairs, put the eight stacks, our leaves, inside the chest, because I don't know if there's any leaves up here. There's one stack. All right, so this next button should move it to... the dirt chest. All right, so let's click on this. Let's go over here. Oh, there we go. And filling up here. All right, guys, let me get some stuff together and we'll do some more stuff in a bit and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and we ran into some technical difficulties that may have almost cost me to restart. And I would have been so sad because I just finished a bunch of stuff and thought it was really cool. Um, <laughs> 
So, I crashed. I had uh, one of the chisel blocks and I right clicked on my um, factory manager and the whole thing crashed. So I don't know if that was, um, I'm not going to try it again because, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, but what I ended up doing, so I did save a backup file of this not too long ago. Now it didn't delete the whole directory, but it deleted the level dat and the level dat and not MCR level old dat. And um, so I copied those over from the save that I had, and I ended up with a bunch of extra stuff that I shouldn't have, which I'm going to. Um, summarily destroy um, after I get some water from these glasses. Um, so I went through and obviously I had a camel pack and um, tried to find the stuff that I had before I looked on a page uh, basically a screenshot of uh, watching one of my videos now um, I lost all my tools that I had uh, so my silk touch pickaxe um, that cost like a block of emeralds so um, I cheated one in as well as I lost a block of gold uh, glowstone or a stack of glowstone now if I had a bunch of it which that's a decent amount but when you're talking one stack out of seven that's that's a lot of glowstone I also lost a stack of, well actually it's four stacks of glowstone dust. So that's like over half. Um, so that's that's a lot of glowstone I lost. And then uh, redstone I lost a stack, but compared to 19 it's, it's quite okay. I'm okay with that. I can, I can manage with that. Um, so this stuff up here is the stuff I'm keeping. Obviously I had a quest book and uh, some of this other stuff. I had a slime ball in my in my thing that I didn't find again and this alamite sword blade that was from um, I made an alamite cutlass and that's more just because it's a pain to uh, make another one of those and I didn't want to deal with it so um, I know I had one so but I know I've got my hard and strong box upstairs and then obviously this is somewhere around here I didn't keep it in my inventory <laughs> But so we're going to uh, trash the rest of this stuff and start fresh with whatever stuff we have left. Because if we're going to cheat, um, you know, there's a lot better ways to cheat. So, <laughs> And cheating just kind of takes the fun out of it, in my opinion. Because um, you're here to challenge, you're, you're here to... Um, yeah, okay, so those are good. Okay, so these, I didn't even check my book to make make sure it was up to date. Okay, so this apparently is saved elsewhere, which is thankful. Um, but this guy here, um, let's see here. So, oh, I need to make another cutlass and then uh, the rest of my tools here. But one of the things that I want to do, we'll go ahead and do this real quick, and I think we'll call it an episode is I think we're pretty close to done with this um, with this episode anyway. Let's grab some bottles. Oh, let's grab some sandwiches. <laughs> see here. So, ooh, hey, we can uh, let's see strawberry, cranberry, or blackberry. Um, I don't think I've eaten strawberry in a while. So let's take some strawberry. Strawberries. These things are amazing. Um, oh, and I got my heart canister back. That's cool. Didn't lose that. Um, lost some armor. I thought I lost my ends or my uh, edged stone bricks because that was like I mean that's like nine stacks of stone that I've been making, and that's this guy here. Um, did I show you that? I don't think I. Did maybe? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so what I did, one of the things I did, is I added uh, four more furnaces, as you can see over there, and I set them up to get 
um, lava buckets. Now I just need to, um, I need dark glass. And that is you combine sand, two blocks of sand with two blocks of glass, and you get this, um, so dark glass is this. So um, ink sacks I have quite a few of. I don't know if I have enough to meet. It's going to be two per block, and I'll need a lot. Um, but with a thickened glass, it's two sand and two glass, and you get four. So you get the same amount of stuff, but one, um, like one block per block. So the ratio is the same. Um, but I have to cook up half of the glass, um, or half of the sand, to make the glass. Then I have to combine them, and then I have to recook the sandy glass. <laughs> So I set up four furnaces to do that, and I'll program that offline. The other thing that I wanted to do is these two guys here, and I wanted to show you how I'm going to do that. And I think that's this is going to be pretty neat, and that'll um, pretty much let me grab two of these, two of those. I think that's it. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put these are redstone receivers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the lever right there. And now this is going to power this block, but it's also going to power the block below it from the top. So when we check that, um, we should be... Let me grab... Okay. feel better now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and... Sorry, close that up. Now these are, let's see, 209 by 223 and 224. Okay, so we're right here. So 223, 226. Okay, so let's go into um, smeltery, I think, casting table. So tank to table. Um, let's see, where's my output going? I think it's going to the buffer chest. Okay, so input. So let's break this. And then let's break that. Okay, so we're going to bring, let's move these over. And this will be interesting. Okay, so I need another liquid output. Huh. Actually, yeah, I can do this. Okay, so we've got this. Let's make this um, a redstone controlled. So redstone receiver. Um, this one's going to be, let's make this one to the um, casting basin. So that should be not that far away. So there's 223, 226. Okay, that's the one I want. Um, redstone sides up. Any redstone signal. And then, um, let's see, we've got this input, right? Tanks. No tank variables, huh? Portable tank, unknown. What is that? 
That's not good. Two hundred nine, two thirty-three, at fifty-seven. Where am I at? Fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. So it's at th that level about, and it's. Two oh nine two thirty three. So two oh nine thirty three. Fifty two. Oh, you know what? It's these guys back here. It's um. Oh, you know, I got a drain back there. That's what that is. I bet you that's what that is. It's probably, I think it's that guy right there. Cause, yeah. Okay, not a big deal. Um, no, that is a big deal. Why is it showing up as a tank? That's not right. Okay, that's weird. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So, um, on while high... This is going to be um, basin from tank. Input is input is the tank. Output is this guy over here. So basin, oh gosh, um, two nine. I'm guessing it's this guy here, two oh eight. So all these are two oh nine, which is that that all row. So two oh eight should be that guy, um, and then. Okay, so we're putting anything in there. Then we need a flow control with two inputs. Let's put this in the middle. And then we're going to there and 209, 209, 208. Blacklist, okay. Okay. So while high, we'll go from the tank to the basin. And then uh, we need another liquid. Honestly, this should probably be in the other room. No, no, because I need to... Yeah, okay, never mind. I need another input. So this one's going from the tank. Uh, whitelist everything. Okay, uh, we need another trigger. And connections, redstone, redstone receivers. We need the other. No, we need the really low one. 53. There's three of them that are at 53. That's not good. 209, 223, 209, 226 at 53. That's those guys. Okay. And that guy's like way to the right. So we should be good right here. Uh, sides. We're looking for the top side. And some connections. Okay. So and then this guy's set up. This guy is set up. Okay. 
this is um, table from tech. And while high. All right, so that should be it. So now when I have stuff in here, do I have anything in there? No. I should have had stuff in there to show you guys. So if I want it to go, like if I want to do a bunch of glass, um, I can, I should put a, um, a fluid duct on it. Um, but if I want to make some glass, I can put it into the casting basin. Or if I want to make either ingots or other things that go to the casting table, like sword blades and whatnot. So that's that. Um, and I think that's it. i got to still deal with the fact that I lost a bunch of stuff and get some better stuff going. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so these this guy's going pretty good. Um, the other thing I need to do, so I need to get um, some sand cooking, and uh, so we can get started on the mob farm. And I'm gonna get that ready to go. I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff, hopefully, and uh, we'll start working on the mob farm in the next episode or mob trap. All right, guys, take care and have a good one. Oh, if you enjoyed the episode. Please let me know. Leave a like or comment below. If you didn't, let me know what I can do to improve so we can all have a good time. Alright guys, take care and have a good one.